80,000 some whatever gallons of uh, brine that's been produced so far. What happened to that? Where does that go? Yeah, it's barrels, not brine. Barrels, I'm sorry, not, yes, uh, not, gall not, not gallons. Um, probably about 98% of the brine goes down class 2 injection wells. Those are disposed wells that are authorized by Congress. Um, they gave authority to the US CPA. And then in 1983, Ohio asked for and received primacy or authority to run that program on behalf of the federal government. So most of it goes into injection. So right now, all the from the, the horizontal fracking, the brine that's been produced has gone into, most of it's gone into injection wells around the state, is that? Well, um, companies are recycling more and more of it. Um, they're putting it through a process where they can reuse it. So the, the volume that was going in the injection wells initially was very high, but each each month the companies begin recycling more and more. And some of the companies have a goal by the end of the calendar year to recycle as close to 100 percent as they can. So to keep reusing it in their in their fracturing activities. Yes, essentially. Yeah. Are they spreading this? Are you allowed to spread this right now on the, on roads? No. Or? no, none of the. Uh, Companies that have drilled shale wells uh, have even asked to spread any of the brine that comes out of them. Um, and one of the proposals we have in the budget bill is not to allow any of that to occur. That was pulled out by the House. Um, it, we're asking that it be put back in. Okay. And Do you have any indication that it's going to be pulled back in? We're confident it will be. Okay.